The fanfare, fireworks, celebrations, all a little muted for 2021. Ian Lee has the highlights from around the world. The show went on despite the pandemic ruining the party. Fireworks and the unusual sight of crowds welcome the new year in Taiwan. While in Wuhan, China, the origin of the pandemic, revelers released balloons at the stroke of midnight. In Cairo, the night sky lit up over the Nile, while Moscow's red square exploded with a multitude of colors. The world's tallest building in Dubai entertained with fireworks and a light show. But in Europe, celebrations were a bit more subdued. Paris's streets celebrated in silence. Big Ben struck midnight in London, ushering in the new year. But because of a surge in COVID cases, small groups were quickly moved along. And in Rio de Janeiro, known for celebrating with a bang, the country said goodbye to 2020 with a whimper and a good riddance. Ian Lee, CBS News, London. Here in the States, more than a million people typically pack into New York City's Times Square to watch the crystal ball drop. But this year, just a handful of frontline workers were allowed into that area. Of course, well deserved for them. And despite the stray from tradition, though, many people are optimistic that good things are ahead. I just want to say goodbye to being bored at home. It's getting off my butt and finally doing a lot of things I've been telling myself I'm going to do for years. I think like 2021 is the year to go do it. It is the year, right? But some things never change. The crews here spent the early morning cleaning all that confetti out of Times Square.